As hard as it is to believe, we do sometimes make mistakes while trying to put on the best newscast possible. We're going to show you some of those mistakes right, actually, <laughs> being told the tape is not here yet. Sorry about that. No? Okay. Blooper Reel is on the way right now. The blooper reel is on the way outside Annenberg. That looks like star freshman Alex Goldsmith getting on the scooter. Going to make a run for it. Can he get here in time? We will find out across Tommy Trojan. Look at this kid fly. Wow. Down the stretch he comes, ladies and gentlemen. We bring you the bloopers. Um, we begin. Well, today's... Weather provided coolness. And again, this is USC, so that about describes almost every day here on campus. Parson Palmer is very cute. Stay alert. Those pesky Santa Anas are back in town. Brian, say it. S say what? Brian, you know, that good old overused cliche to lead us into the sports segment. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's a big weekend for the USC football team, and sportscaster Brian DeClue joins us now with the details. Brian. Alan, Alan Ben Cannon. Can't you say my name? No, I can't. It's your new hair. It messes me all up. Here's someone I spend my entire week looking forward to. Straight from the weight room at Heritage Hall. Our exceptionally good looking, our extremely good looking, well toned sportscaster. Well, ladies, you can all relax. The rumors were not true. The best looking anchor at ATVN has not graduated just yet. Whoever said I was leaving. I want to see Pikachu. I'll bring oh, Buzz yeah, Lightyear. And you guys can bring a Beanie, beanie Baby or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some say size doesn't matter, but it just might when it comes to sizing up the world's biggest heart. Uh. I want to get pumped up. Woo! Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a little more interesting than our show. <laughs> Not that I'm saying this is bad. But... Good evening. I'm Seth Doan in for Brian Gettle. Good evening. I'm Brian Gettle in for Seth Doan. And I'm Lori Jane Gleha in for Teresa Jun. In for Elon Van Hannon is Brian DeClude. Yeah, I'm Phil Moreno, in for Phil Moreno. And I'm Chris Van Clean of uh, Van Cleef. Three, two, one. The support comes from individuals and the organizations they run. This is the office of Raul Vargas. It's usually, I'm sorry. I'm going to go with <laughs> what the script says. The Lakers traveled to Texas to try to eat out, eek out a win. I think we should replay that. Is it, is it eek or eats? Eek. I guess I said eek. To try to eat out Mother Tucker. Mellow dick. It's going to be a little bit nipply for you women out there. Uh, this is a family show. He spends most of his... I'm sorry. A 53 degree low tonight, which means shrinkage for you fellas. In honor of the turn of the millennium, I better start again. Let's congratulate the humidity, ladies and gentlemen, 100%. He spends most of his time helping the people. I used to have a little personality on the ends. Woof, woof. The sun set and it rose, whatever. Let's take a look at the satellite imaging map, which we have right there. Very good. These technical people are so good today. Thank you. Even Annenberg TV News has limited access to the Academy Awards. Unfortunately, Annenberg TV News is not too high on the San Francisco Giants priority list. The support comes from, sorry? Professional is a very elastic word. Nobody's coming, go. Take two. Take five. Let's first uh, take a look outside. Let's take a look outside. It's worth a suggestion. Well, that about wraps it up for sports. Our Esmeralda Briano shows us where we can find him. And that didn't make sense. Okay, I can do this. One more time. Oh, boy! Take eight. You are a god of weather, Phil. <laughs> oh, I try. Take 11. God! Can you hear me right now? I'm talking right now as loud as I probably should. Two, one. The women's volleyball team has certainly earned their number one ranking. They've defeated nearly uh, three, two, one. Go ahead, go ahead. I messed it up. But tonight, uh, three, two. And Cardinal comes down to visit. Uh, I say nearly because they've... Uh, I spit at the end. I spit. One, one more good take and I'm set. I have to ask, who was that hot basketball player? And is he single? That was David Blumenthal. He's going to be a record holder and I'm not quite sure uh, of his marital status. David, Careful now. if you're watching, Go, Julie. I think I'm in love. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think we should have a uh, sexiest Annenberg TV news anchor. Oh, really? I think it would sell like hotcakes. 
Now. <clears throat> ben Chamberlain here to uh, tell us. Our Noreen, our Noreen Wong joins us now. Might be a nice idea to throw on a weather, uh, a sweater, excuse me. Ready, Locals and Arab Americans across the what? country are fearing a backlash after last oh. week's terrorist attacks. What? It's day 20. Wait, I don't have, okay, where's the tape, guys? Where's that tape? A20 is an A. Ready, A? Roll A. I don't have that page. Uh, today it was a very hazy morning, and I'm going to stay right here. So let's take a look at the three-day forecast. There is a way to buy things without selling out a lot of money. <laughs> Judges awarded first place to Russian pair Elena Berz Berznaya and Anton Skirlid Skirlididzi. Lorak called the t uh, Terranconda police bragging. ATVN's Jeff Eisenberg. Jeff Eisenbach. Jeff Eschbach. But Julian uh, knew. <laughs> joins us with the forecast for the next days. Well, uh, that about wraps it up for, and, oh, I'm sorry. We got one more story. Thanks, Rachel. Some possible bad news for young smokers today. The California Medical Association voted in favor of raising... Try to have that story to you later on in the show. Don't worry about it. The brain. And finally, it should be perfect. And now we hope to get to this week's Rewind, which is a lot of fun, I promise you that. Close at 12, 13.72. Malaysia's Prime Minister said... Malaysia's Prime Minister said... Your complete forecast is coming up. Thank you for watching Annenberg TV News. Uh, she's, uh, Rachel, she's Rachel Parker. <laughs> and I'm Mari Payton. Excited. Awesome. Thanks, Heather. Well, no. Good evening. I'm Amra Stone. And I'm Rachel Whitestone. We Southern California all around kind of had mild temperatures, guys. Hey, I'm back on camera right here. I hope you guys had a really fun time today. You say the lab workers paid area high school students to donate blood, <laughs> then charge the state for health tests they never made. I just did that one. I'm sorry, Dylan. Ah, what? Well, didn't mean to forget your name there, buddy. The workers have been charged. <laughs> God, boy, it's John Dangerous. Find out how a bad hairdo caused a university professor to retire early. Cy Young. <laughs> is it like a USC oh, award? Boy. Television is coming to your cell phone. <laughs> and MSNBC. We don't have a score for you, I apologize. Um, it's probably tied though, it's a hockey game. A little bit, no, no, one nothing, St. Louis, what a shocker. Student tables on Truesdale will be replaced with booths representing 130, back to you, Zara. Thank you, Ashley. I guess that was a little borderline corny. Isn't that right, Michelle Kwan? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Back to you guys at the desk. Watch out if your Mercedes has a DVD player in the back because police, anyway. Has the right to make more money off of him and it looks like that's it. No, not at all. Are you exactly. going to remember this? CBS anchorman Dan Rather and that's a reason, as the reason this. Oh, are you going to remember this? We're responsible for Hornet. Excuse me. It's right around, a, right, right around the corner. But that would bring in, uh, bring in the coverage in two. So why don't we just get a little closer here? I'll oh, Nick. This you is my CT. President Bush returned to the campaign trail today. And as playoff baseball swings into action. So you can watch us anytime on the web at atvn.org. Good night. You guys didn't say our names. And TV, TV News, news starts, starts right, right now. now. Let's go to the highlights, shall we? Menace to men's, women's tennis. Mine and Illinois collide. Co co Sorry. Syrian, uh, a Syrian man. Stranger things have happened in the NBA. Minnesota has lost two of three, and as you all know, though. Next up, the five day forecast as I get out of the way here, you can see winds are windy. At USC, 66 degrees. And the five day forecast. Thursday, 66. Friday, 66. Barstow, also fairly warm at 64 degrees. And San Diego, at 63 degrees. Okay, well, we just want to thank you uh, for that sports update and everything. And uh, 
great. <laughs> there was a lot of hot women in that videotape too, but it was the women that were hot. I mean, the women's basketball team that was hot this weekend, right? <laughs> Final four as it is. No problem, Trina. <laughs> Trina. Homeland Security, Secretary Security. Homeland Secretary of Security, Michael. Getting enough art? Where's the music? I don't hear any. Arts programs are being cut, making it hard. <laughs> You're right, Samia. My hair just got a little frizzy. Yeah, mine too. Person you can't take home for Thanksgiving. Oh, well, I am. Um, maybe I'm going to go to Fresno instead. <laughs> you wish. Thanks, camera. <laughs> a legit sports cast is coming up in two minutes. True that. I'm dropping sports like it's hot. True that. Get pumped. We're bringing the A game. True that. Thanks for watching Annabelle TV News. I'm Sean, uh, for Sean Llewellyn, excuse me, Casey Conlon. I'm Gabriel Morales. Oh, and look what we got here. Oh, look, we got some jam soda right now. Turkey gravy. What do you guys have? I'm trying the pumpkin this stuff pie soda. Wild herb stuffing. This is a Thanksgiving feast. Thanks for watching Annabelle TV News. <laughs> for everyone here at ACBN, I'm Jeff Robinson. And I'm Samia Khan. You can catch us anytime on the web at www.atvn.org. Take a look at what ATVN does best. Mess up. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Yevgeny Pushenko, I can't say that. One golden. Oh, that was terrible. The party continues for Silarend's Silarend Cinderella story. Wow, that was tough. Well, alrighty. Now we go on to the. Uh, oh. <laughs> and where it is. Well. Annenberg TV next. News is next. Annenberg TV Nick News is next. Good evening, I'm Jeff Robinson. And I'm Laura Lane. Asghar Mukadam and Shaz Nawaz uh, Quirish. With a shooting at Duskini University. Postmenopausal women who weren't on hormone, hormone, hormone replacement therapy. Boom shakalaka. As soon as you're ready. We're now turning to Amanda Wainer, Maynard. Pope Benedict met. Uh, the ABA is coming to the sports arena. I don't really know what that is. How about them Cowboys? Preseason all pack game today. But the question is, which do students prefer? And <laughs> thanks for watching Annenberg TV News. Stay tuned, Annenberg TV News is next. To the Vancouver Canucks. But more at NFL, excuse me, NHL action today. The FBI are, is outraged. Protesters and FBI agents are outraged. Uh, excuse me. Council members and veterans are outraged. Just look at this. Look at this thing. That looks like a happy face. I have no idea what this is. And there's big news about Tim Duncan and NBA playoffs around the corner. Yeah, I heard he got ejected from a game, but I don't really know. <laughs> Sir, David Foley, give us an update, please. Over there. Well I me, mean, Google said today it will open an operations center in Poland later this year. The new center will be in the city of Wark <laughs> and create 200 jobs. Ron Artest is in the hot water today with the law today. Arrest was Artest was arrested. Thanks for watching Annenberg TV News. For Erica Barden and Jessica Lane, I'm Ariel Wessler. And everyone at HBN, I'm Ariel Wessler. For everyone here at HBN. And off when we come back. Here, a DPS captain gives his has more on more the most recent crime reports. And tornadoes ripped through the Midwest and Southeast today. Find out what areas of the country were affected. But first, let's take a look at the, 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 excuse me today's weather. Snapped and caused extent extent. And two major Jeremy. Thanks, speeding. Police say there have been at least. Specialist Jorge G. Sandoval. Sarah Carroll is looking hot. She has more of today's weather. Sarah, we're out of video. You can watch us anytime on the web at atvn.org. We love each other. Good night. <laughs> Keep it reading. Recent fires led people to do we not their have it right now? About potential keep, it, keep it reading. Council voted keep it reading. Unanimous go. to pass the Santa Monica right, Conservative right, Council. We're going to we're gonna switch to modification. three reading, switch yeah. it live. Dozens of Ready, D, do we have video? The Supreme Court to okay, keep it reading. Guantanamo Ready, the three box, morning. 311, wants answers. in orange jumpsuits chanted against the detention. The protesters want the restoration of habeas corpus. Which is the right to return. Robert it? Gates was in Baghdad today and says a sense of normalcy. Ready, C? Do we have it? Keep her reading. 
Gates was in the country. Ready the three bar. Three. Start Strong the beat. Start the beat. Strong creating great waves for surfers up and down the coast of California. Okay, ready black. Ready black. Threat and fire have left Southern We're California gonna dissolve. prone to dangerous mudslides. Find out how you can protect your home. And dissolve. Okay, ready the three box, 320, deadly snowstorm. Ready, go to BO5. Well, Guys, Kyle, touch the weather. I've ready, chroma key, 370. Ready, chroma key, 370. Maybe some this weekend? Let's go to our Cat Bellinger and find out. Take it and cure. Thanks, guys. CGN. It's been a pretty Ready, crazy 371. day weather all over the country. Here in LA, we've been feeling warm in the 70s, Kay. but the news I'll give you in a little bit might crush your weekend plans. And but dissolve. Let's look at today in LA. Tell her to we take up some time. Ready, 373. And winds blowing 372. At five. And Monday, rain yet again. High of 64 and low of 44. And get her back now, on. Back to you, she can just Lauren. Okay, take it and cue up. Well, waves that high are a little bit take scary, it. if you ask me. Jeez, okay. Know what you can do about that. Ready the. Um, I'm pretty glad I'm not a okay, surfer. Okay, ready the right? one yeah, box. Really, I mean, 380 Heisman around, hopefuls. That's, that's ready the one box on Marcello. Heisman hopefuls. Thanks, ready the one box. <laughs> well, we have almost a full <laughs> month until our next football game. Read. The fighting Read. Are in the oh, get them on. Get them on. Get them on. Get the camera to it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ready the one. More. Here's Marcelo Figueroa. <laughs> Take it if you're ready. See. On right now, oh. Ready D. Ready D. This is not right. This is oh, not no. D. <laughs> roll D. Roll D. And take it. Carthy Quad. Venezuela State Oil Company seen the Major League season season record. The alleged alle uh, allegation from. And remember to be sure with AT to stay with ATVN. Now let's take a look at temperatures across the coast. Or we can look at the five day forecast. It doesn't get any warmer than, you know, early, early 70s. The 15. And the suspect. Oh. And a suspect. Kyle, back to you. Thank you, Jeff. Well, the new season brings new changes for the. Supporters say the bill. Supporters say the bill. Excuse me. Supporters say of the bill, excuse me, would make a positive. This whole thing is, uh, <laughs> this whole, is a little ridiculous. <laughs> we went around campus today to see how students' brackets are looking. Pen, pen, and quick. Thanks for watching Annenberg TV News. For everyone at ATVN, I'm Holly Fisher. <laughs> and I'm Jessica G. We wish them all the well. Thanks, Sarah. Nicely done. <laughs> it's good, good to see that they're out. Alex, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Matt. Nice job. Our proceeds will go to the Goldman family. Racial injustice. We've connection to racism. Votes prevailing. Turning from one of my favorite <laughs> hair accessories to one of my favorite movies, Wedding Crashers. We talked about me potentially getting a tan. I spent some time at the beach. Can I spend more time at the beach, Sarah Carroll? And equally important news, Britney Spears turned herself into police last night. I, I'm a big shower guy. <laughs> Sarah Carroll, do you shower? Well, we can move from uh, gaming to music now. A big part on Facebook is USC football. Definitely. Big, big weekend. Uh, Trevor, what, what we got? Thank you both very much. Hi, everybody. There's a lot going on in sports. Actually, and Derek, the Dodgers have a case. Homecoming this weekend on campus, and that means... The player walked away as mayor. All this and more next on sports. Awards, smiles, that's and... Welcome back. The Trojans lost to Oregon State Hurt. are facing higher day uh, they said I spoke with about a dozen who said technical difficulties with Jamie there now if you fall into one of these categories all right we have to take a look at our weather on the coast or we can also take all right DPS captain David Carlisle Carlisle no known cases of flesh in Fish inflicted injury. Mayor Antonio Villagarosa. I really like food, but tofu. Ooh. All right, well, I think the weather I've been wishing for is finally here. It's going to be a little cooler. Well, I walked out today and it was cloudy. Aaron Darling, I know, has our forecast. Aaron? Thanks, Matt. So, if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering what's going on with all this crazy weather. This weekend, there'll be a slight chance of thunder and lightning along with bright 
brief downpours of rain, so don't forget your umbrella when you go out trick-or-treating. The legal battle between Wells Fargo and City. Leave. There's just something fishy about it. And less traffic <laughs> means there's fewer chances I might be spotted in my Previa minivan. Oh my God. It tastes exactly it's delicious. like pumpkin. And it's not delivery, it's not DiGiorno, it's Katie Bob. Sea <laughs> pizza. Okay. Right. Wouldn't it kill us? Right, I just hope Oregon doesn't rain on our parade. <laughs> Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa joined several celebrities. UNH demolishes Dartmouth. Georgians are ranked number five in the BCS behind. Check back in tomorrow with our own Jonathan Stallsmith for a closer look. Jonathan Stallsmith will have more for you tomorrow night. Our own Jonathan Stallsmith will have more on the story for you tomorrow evening. In these drums that will then be shipped off somewhere else in the country to be incarcerated. And be shipped off somewhere else in the country to be incarcerated. At exactly 8 p.m., Barack Obama took California and became the next president of the United States. California and became the next president. For women and men to perform self breast exams and get annual mammograms. Boy, it sure was hot. <laughs> so I think if this whole reporting gig doesn't work out, I finally found. The job yeah, was going to work you out. You did for a me. flip. Great out there. That was so cool. I would have... Thanks so much, Alex. All right, and now a quick update. The ACLU released a new study on racial housing plan today. Kelly Kildwell was downtown. Katie Cagle looks into how the. Angelina De Patrio Bucci shows us. Yeah, but there is a score. Um, Jimmy Rollins did have that home run, but the score is not updated. I apologize. Props to Trevor Thompson. He did a great package on Kevin Ellison. Sorry we couldn't get that in the show. And. We are going to get that in the show, and here it comes. Back now to college, and I apologize. Um, we are going to go straight to Joe McKnight, who has turf toe. Um, lucky for Trojan fans, McKnight will have to ampute not have to amputate any limbs like Mason College too. We were going to show you. We go live to ATVN's Emily Nerlin. Increase for USC students are handling the crisis. Kate? Katie? Ned? Matt? Thanks, Shereen. I Thanks, Dick. Ren, good evening. We're here at the intersection of 28th and Hoover. That's right, guys. Now, we're just about one block down from the intersection of Santa Monica and San Vicente. Down to the Puyo Glacier. Books away from the convention center where LA Auto Show is. And Kirsten, time now for sports, and I'm very excited because college basketball season has tipped off. And we're supposed to be really good this year, so I, uh, let's see what our sports anchor Kevin Taylor has to say about that. Hey, if the Tampa Bay Rays can make the World Series, staying tuned to me should be a piece of cake for you guys. Sports! Can you feel the love tonight? Sports! Haven't you heard that gold's mixed the word? Sports! I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Sports! Please, sir, may I have another helpful of sports? America, are you serious? Sports. But a dum dum dum. Another coach bites the dust. I'm a man on a mission, and that mission is to bring you more sports. I'm fan tested, mother approved sports. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? Are the Cubs gonna win this year? I got a fever, and the only prescription is more sports. Is next. I know you had midterms this week and last week. How are you balancing your academic schedule with your athletic? I'm doing fine. Um, I got like a 4.3. You know what I mean? I'm in the master's program. and um, I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just take extra courses. And obviously, if you want to be as good as I am in the classroom, let me know and I'll tutor you.
Ready, Mateo? We are good. All right. Well, I'm here at Heritage Hall with Coach Pete Carroll. And Coach, Saturday we saw some toughness, you know, with USC facing off against Arizona. How did, how did, can I start over? I, I totally screwed that up. I'm sorry, I Coach. It was really going good. You were, it was really sentimental. It was emotional. <laughs> I, I made some good blooper reel. I have to, you know, give you a hug or something here. <laughs> All right, coach. I'm here. To, I'm here. Uh, I don't know why you're making me so nervous, coach. All right, I'm here at Heritage Hall with Coach Pete Carroll. And coach, Saturday's game was closer than some some might have predicted. Dude. You're making me so nervous. I thought I was one making him nervous. I did so well my first time. My second time, I'm messing up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I'm here at Heritage Hall with Coach Pete Carroll. And Coach, Saturday's game was closer than some might have predicted. What is it about this Arizona team that they've been able to keep games close in recent years? All right, thanks, Coach. Make sure you watch the Trojans this Saturday at 3:30 as they take on the Washington Huskies at the Coliseum. Nice comeback. Way to go, huh? I'm sorry. Don't get nervous, right? Of course not. Kind of need the Jeopardy music right now. You <laughs> good? I'm going to answer everything in the question, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, here, I'm here at Heritage Hall with Coach Pete Carroll to talk a little Trojan football. First of all, Coach, news about Broderick Green transferring surface this week. Can you just tell us about his situation and what went on? Well, what do you think about that situation? Um, no, I just, okay. No. I'll get you down. <laughs> oh, start again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. That was a good one. Had me on the spot. Now, now you're calm. Now calm. I know. Now I know what you go through week in and week out. At five, as they take on the Oregon Ducks, they travel up to Palo Alto to take on the Stanford Cardinal. As they take on the Fighting Irish at five o'clock.